What's up guys? Today I am going to teach you how to dress like Noctis from Final Fantasy 15. Let's get right into it. The outfit worn by Noctis is actually designed by Japanese fashion house Rowan. Most of Rowan's designs can be considered somewhat avant-garde. So Noctis' fashion takes a lot of influence from the avant-garde fashion movement. He has a lot of drapery in his outfit, a lot of asymmetrical design, neutral colors, and so on. Because he's often engaged in battle, there is a technical element to his fashion. A lot of his gear obviously needs to have some technical function to perform well when he's fighting. So you could say that Noctis also has some tech wear influence in his outfit. There are some other characters in the Final Fantasy series who have the same avant-garde drip. You got Cloud from Final Fantasy VII and Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, both of which have these dark, military-inspired avant-garde fits. Let's go ahead and start to break down this outfit piece by piece and talk about what exactly he is wearing so we can figure out what we need to find. First of all, he's got the classic Final Fantasy dyed and styled hair. This is a recurring theme in all the Final Fantasy games. The protagonists often have this really spiky styled hair. Short sleeve military inspired jacket, gray pattern t-shirt, fingerless tactical gloves, long cargo style pants with all these pockets, and this belt that drapes down on both the left and right side of the pants. And finally, he's got these high top tactical boots. Now let's figure out how we can reproduce this. First of all, let's talk about his hair. Like I said, this is a very common trend in the Final Fantasy series to have colored spiky hair. Pictured here is Reno from Final Fantasy VII rocking that red spiked hairdo. For the Final Fantasy fans watching this, you may think that this style of hair comes from the Final Fantasy series or comes from Japanese video games or Japanese anime. Actually, this style of hair can be seen in Japan. If you go to Japan, you can see people walking around with this hairstyle. Check this out. This guy is a real Japanese guy who has his hair styled exactly the same as Reno from Final Fantasy VII. And I bet you this guy is not actually cosplaying him. He's actually just dressed like this. You can see guys like this on the streets of Japan. They're actually out there. Mostly, you're gonna see this type of hairstyle on hosts. And hosts are Japanese guys dressed like this with this spiky colored styled hair and they usually work for a bar and girls will basically pay these guys to have a drink with them, talk to them and hang out with them at the bar for a while. They're sort of boyfriends for hire. The basic idea behind host fashion is that these guys are trying to look like princes or fantasy characters. If you want to get that Final Fantasy host style hair, you're going to need some type of styling product. I recommend Gatsby Moving Rubber Wax. This is my favorite hair wax. It's really good. They make a ton of different types of this. The two pictured here are my favorites. The gray one on the left side is called Grunge Matte, and that's the one I usually use for my hair. On the right, you have Spiky Edge. Both of these are good because they have very nice hold, and if you're patient, you can get that Final Fantasy spiky look. I'd also recommend this thing over here by Osis, which is called Dust It. This is basically just a powder that you can put in your hair to give it more volume. If your hair is kind of thin, just sprinkle this in there and it will give it a bit more body, and then you can go ahead and style it with one of these Gatsby waxes. Now let's talk about this shirt Noctis is wearing right here. This has a graphical skull print on the shirt. It is a dark gray color with black skulls patterned around the upper half of the shirt. But you don't really need that exact print to make this work. All you need is something that is dark in color and patterned to have the same type of effect. For example, there's this black shirt with a red floral print from H&M. This is a little bit brighter than what Noctis is wearing, obviously, but it still fits that avant-garde look. If you want to go for a more minimal print, you can get this camo style black and gray print also from H&M. Both of these shirts will be pretty cheap and will match the style well enough. Here you can see the skull print compared with the H&M camo pattern. If you were to look at both of these from far away, they would look about the same. So if you can't find a skull print, just go for something like this. All right, next up, let's talk about pants. These are kind of like cargo or tech wear style pants. The key features are the different pockets that are placed throughout the pants and the draping belt here that hangs down on both sides. The absolute closest you're going to get to those pants are acronym P23ADS. Acronym has these crazy product names. This is the exact product ID you're looking for. 
it meets all of the specification, including the draping belt and lots of technical pockets. For those of you who are familiar with acronym, you will know that acronym stuff is not cheap. Another more affordable techwear brand is Gorilla Group, and they make a lot of great technical pants with lots of pockets that also have a very similar look to what Noctis wears. If true techwear pants are a little bit out of your budget, then you can go for something super minimal and basic like these Uniqlo cargo pants here. While these do lack the pocket detailing, they at least have this built-in strap that you can get kind of the same drape to get a similar look to what Noctis has. For shoes, you're gonna want a high top tactical boot in black. Pictured here are the Nike SFB tactical boots. If you wanna push things in a more avant-garde direction, you can check out some of the popular Japanese avant-garde brands, such as Julius 7. Pictured here are some high top leather boots from Julius. And of course, if you want something more minimal and classic, you can go for Dr. Martin's high top platform boots. This glove Noctis is wearing is a fingerless tactical glove he wears on his left hand, and it rises up a bit past his wrist. I would recommend Mechanics Impact fingerless tactical gloves. This design is pretty close. Mechanics also makes another fingerless glove that even has the part going up to your wrist. And finally, the most difficult part of this outfit is going to be the jacket he wears. And the reason this is going to be hard to find is because Noctis is wearing a short sleeve military inspired jacket. You can't find short sleeve military inspired jacket. This is mostly just a fantasy piece. However, if you go to thrift shops or military surplus stores, you can get pretty close. The key elements of his jacket are this high collar here, symmetrical breast pockets, and these button down shoulder flaps. If you can get all of those things, the jacket is going to look close enough to what Noctis has. These two jackets pictured are actually from AliExpress. They're from a brand called 77 City. I do not have any idea what the quality on this stuff is, but they're pretty cheap. So it's probably not amazing, but it will get the job done if you just need something on a budget. Once again, if you want to push things more in an avant-garde direction, you can pick up something like this, which is an asymmetrical cardigan from First Aid to the Injured. They are a great avant-garde brand that makes stuff at a very, very decent price point. It doesn't have the same technical features as what Noctis is wearing, but it'll be close enough, especially good if you want a more avant-garde Noctis look. And once again, for all the tech heads watching this video, you can go with the classic techwear brands like Gorilla Group and Acronym. Because techwear pieces have such crazy naming schemes, I'm not even gonna try to say the names of these pieces. The one on the left is probably the most popular acronym jacket. And the one on the right is a jacket by Gorilla Group that's currently available on their web shop right now. If you wanna get that perfect one-to-one -one Noctis jacket, you are in luck because Rowan actually produced a real version of the Noctis military jacket. Unfortunately, it is currently out of stock on their website. And even if it was in stock, it would set you back about 1,500 USD. So this piece is not cheap. But if you really, really want to emulate Noctis, then maybe you should go on some secondhand marketplaces and try to find it. But expect to pay top dollar for this because it's a rare piece. All right, guys, that's it for today. Go out, dress like Noctis. Go ahead and drop a comment with your favorite Final Fantasy character or your favorite outfit from the Final Fantasy series. 